Hey friends, I wanted to just catch up and do just a, um, some updates because I'm not really podcasting over the summer. And if you don't get my newsletter, you don't get to catch up with what's going on. But there's just a few things I really wanted to highlight for you that are coming up that I don't want you to miss. And the first one is coming up really soon. And it is the Open Hearts and a Closed World Conference. It's a free conference. It's fully online. So you can, you can watch it while it's up and live that week. And that's actually next week. It starts July 10th. Or you can catch it anytime. So if you miss a day here or there, it's always up to watch the past conference. Conferences are always up to watch. I grabbed a little note card for details because I forget things. But the website, it's openheartsandaclosedworld.com and you can get all the details there. You can watch it live on YouTube or in the Facebook group or you can watch it um, on AGTV if you have AGTV. And I'm trying to look and see what else. So it's July 10th through the 14th. The speakers are, Brooke Barks is the, the founder of the conference and she opens the conference. The theme this year is growing in godliness and a godless generation. And so our theme verse is 2 Peter 3.18. But um, so Brooke opens the conference and then we have Susan Heck and Kimberly Cummings from the Women's Hope Podcast. We have Aaron Coates, Martha Peace, um, Michelle Leslie, Penny Amack, who is really, who's Brooke's mentor, which I really love that. And then, and then me. And then there's a Q&A on the very last day. So don't miss it. Um, Arlene's has from um, Ordinary People with Extraordinary Life. She puts on the whole, um, kind of puts it all together in the video format and is our, um, I don't know what to call her. She's kind of our narrator. That's not the right word, but you know what I mean. She kind of helps and brings the different sessions in and she works through that for us. She does an excellent job. So don't miss it. Openheartsandaclosedworld.com, July 10th through 14th, next week in the mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. I'll put all those links below the video so you don't have to remember anything. Um, and then the other thing that's coming up is the G3 conference down in Atlanta. And it is, and I didn't write the date down, but I believe it's September 22nd it starts. It's kind of that week. It starts on that Thursday. Um, if you use the code G3TH, if you've not registered yet, you get 30% off your registration. So do that. I'm breaking out this year and having a booth, which I've never done. I'm totally petrified. So if you're there, please come find me. So um, my hubby will be there and my daughter and my grandkiddos will be there. So I'm super excited and I love getting to meet um, people that I get to talk to and email and just to get to meet you in person is such a blessing. So I'm looking forward to that. And then my other thing is there is a huge sale going on right now at Bella Paper. It's 316 Publishing. I love them. I love their products. You would know 316 from the Steadfast Bibles or the LSB, the Legacy Standard Bible. But Bella Paper is one of their divisions and they make absolutely gorgeous products, ladies. So if you need a planner or a tote bag or greeting cards, they've got it. And right now for the next, oh, probably maybe two more days, their new 2024 line is 25% off, so do not miss this. And if you use the code THANKFUL10, which I'll put in, you get an additional 10% off. So that's 35% off. So if you are looking for a planner, and what I love is their 17-month planner. So let's say you had an epic fail and you didn't get a planner, right? Or your planner <laughs> didn't work and you order one of their planners when they're up. They're 24, they're 17 months. So this one starts in August. I, this is my favorite. It's a it's a little bigger planner, but I really like it. It's the one, this is this year's. I have last year's that I'm using, but it has the monthly tabs on the side, has lots of room to write. Let me get, they even have gratitude list areas. Let me get to a month for you though, so you can see it. I do love, they always have a verse at the start of every month. And here's the monthly layout. So you have room there to kind of write your to-dos and things for the months, your notes. And then here's the weekly layout so you can see it. Ladies, there's so much room in this one. I really love this. I love the prayer part. I love the daily um, habit tracker, the verse. It is just a beautiful planner. What else I love is this. It lays flat. That's a big deal. I really enjoy that. Um, they also have kind of a smaller version, which is super sweet too. So it is, um, it's called the Treasure Scripture Bible Memory Planner. So it's got places just like that one to put your goals for the year. And I want to get to, and then here are the weekly layouts. So it's a little more compact. If you like it compact, that's kind of a nice way to do it too. So the month is, um, and again, this is a 17 month planner too. 
So here's the monthly layout. So you still have a little room there to put your notes, just a little more compact. Let me hold them side by side so you can kind of see. The prices are super awesome. They're absolutely gorgeous. They are just um, scripture throughout, which I love because that's hard to find in a planner. Another item I really love this year that's new is this tote bag. Is this gorgeous? What a great thing to take to church, to take when you're out and about. It'll facilitate conversations. This is kind of cool. Um, I love the other thing I really, I keep saying I love, but I do, I really enjoy their products, are their greeting cards. Guys, it's so hard to find beautiful greeting cards. And these are absolutely gorgeous. I think my camera's backwards, but you know what? I just can't figure out this tech stuff. You think one day I would get this? I don't know. So their cards are beautiful. They come packaged gorgeous. They have um, thank you cards, which I'm gonna grab some of those for you so you can see a couple of them. Just thank you cards, so pretty. And the thing that is so gorgeous is they all, they have scripture on the inside. So it's not your typical card you'd grab at your local Walmart or something. Um, the little journals this year are really, really pretty. And just, they're so sweet. If you sermon notes or your prayer journal or to write notes as you're, you know, reading your Bible, just things that stand out to you. They're just gorgeous. They're great little gifts to have on hand. I always love keeping some of these tucked away to give as a gift, like a hostess gift or something. Those are great. They also, I'm reaching because I got junk everywhere here. They have, I don't remember these last year, but they have gift bags this year and they actually come with tissue paper. So they have some gift bag packs in different sizes. They even have some Christmas ones out already. You can kind of start stocking up. And again, the prices are awesome. So 25% off now, 10% with that thankful 10 code, which is so good. And this one is the last item that I want to show you. There's, there's many more on their site. I'm going to give you the link. This isn't the last I lied. This is the desk blotter, which is kind of fun. I haven't had a desk blotter in a while, so I'm looking forward to using that. And there, one more, one more before I show you this last one. This is their wall art calendar. Is that so pretty? So it is really just a gorgeous work of art. Let me try to open this level in here. So just um, beautiful artwork on every month. So it just, it's, it really is a piece of artwork on your wall. And this last one is a 12 month, it's a prompted journal. So every month there's different um, areas to, like you put the month, whatever month it is. And I love this because even though it's 12 months, you could take longer, you could, you know, you could go shorter. Usually I would be longer than 12 months, but it has things like to cultivate growth. So one tip they give is tune out all the extra noise and pray this month. Like that's an area to focus on or abound in love, reach out to someone younger than you or steward God's gifts. They have hide God words, God's word in your heart. So maybe you're going to work on memorizing scripture that month or something specific. Um, rest. I love that. Watch the sunrise or sunset. So it is just giving different tips in those five areas to cultivate growth, to abound in love, to steward God's gifts, to do good. Like this one that I'm looking at now says, put together a care package for someone and rest. So this is just a sweet little prompted journal that um, it's kind of nice. It's for cultivating Christian habits. So this one's kind of fun too. So that's it, friends. I love that. The journals, there's more journals. These are... These have hymns on the inside even. Take a peek, 2024, Bella Paper 316. I'll put the website and the link below for that. The website is the link. I'm gonna put that below and then I'll put the code THANKFUL10. So super excited, check it out. Um, actually, I have my journal from last year on my desk because this is last year's, because I love it. It's one of my favorites. So it's just been a good one for me. So check it out. I love y'all. I'll see you soon. Don't forget G3, Open Hearts in a Closed World, July 10th. Um, and I will see you soon. I may even pop in on a podcast soon. I'm hoping so. So it was good to catch up with you all and I will talk to you soon.